Hello people. I just finished making a different video. Well, it's a little serious, so I want to lighten things up for now. So I'm going to talk to you about movies. Who doesn't love movies? Huh? Who doesn't go to the movies or watch a movie on, on your home or whatever? Movies in general, even on your fucking little stupid cell phone. Movies are awesome. Most of them. Here's the thing. Avatar. Old movie, you know, what, three years ago? Everybody loves it, but at the same time, nobody gives a shit about it. Because it was a generic plot, which I don't mind. You know, some movies are generic. Visuals, some people say they're great, some people say they're not. I don't care, they look good to me. Okay, The overall movie was great. The overall movie experience, when I went and watched it on 3D at the theater, it was a good movie. I came out of there good. But then I started thinking about it. And while I was at the movies, I had this little problem where I overthink of it a little bit. And now I hate Avatar. I hate it so much. Yet I like watching it. It's it's a conundrum wrapped in a riddle, wrapped in a seventh, seventh sense, wrapped in a, some whiskey. Here's the reason I hate it, because Avatar hates America. Avatar is an anti-America movie. Here's the thing, who are the bad guys? Ex-military, aka military. What are they looking for? They're looking for a black rock, a black mineral, aka oil. What do they do? They invade impoverished or uncivilized places, Iraq, and all that shit going on over there. See, I'm a pro-American guy, so all that shit just bugs me. I just wanted to watch a good fucking movie, you know? And here's my review of Avatar. Good movie to look at if you're drunk. Because if you start thinking about it, I just hate it so fucking much. That's Avatar. Okay, another movie. Uh, best movies ever. Crash. I don't know if any of you have seen the movie Crash, the old one. Uh, it has uh, Ludacris on it and uh, that guy with the big nose. And um, who else? Bunch of people. It's about racism and uh, stereotypes and all that shit put together is such a great fucking movie you know what I just realized I haven't downlo downloaded that movie I need to download it right now anyways watch it that movie I mean there's this, all these people who have their own little problems and they're all have their racist intu intuitions or bigoted or whatever it's just this Chinese guy and this Mexican guy who everything one thinks he's bad but then he's good but he actually did bad things there's this white guy who everyone thinks he's uh, I don't know I don't know I can't explain watch Crash people fucking awesome movie okay watch it that's my review it's fucking awesome uh, another movie uh, that I love Slumdog Millionaire, fucking awesome movie, two thumbs up, way the fuck up, okay, it's about this guy, this teen I guess, or late teen, 20 something year old, who grew up in the slums in Iraq, or somewhere over there, okay, all Middle Easterners look the same, and uh, he goes on the show, and their version of who wants to be a millionaire, and he's playing a, a game that no one has ever won over there. Even their smartest doctors and their smartest people never win it. But this guy, it just happens that by coincidence, every question they ask him, he has something tragic tragic in his life happen that gives him the answer to the, that question. Uh, like uh, synopsis. Uh, 
they ask him who uh, invented the uh, re what was what was the question? Who invented the revolver? I believe. They give him the little options, and then you flash back to when he was a kid. All this shit happened, and then it's the point where his brother points a gun at him, and because his brother's pointing a gun at his head, he can see, or his brother tells him, or something like that, where that it was a Smith and Wesson. So he answers the question that it was Smith and Wesson because he almost died by a gun made by Smith and Wesson. It's fucking awesome. You gotta watch this fucking movie, okay? Uh, another movie. Family movie. The Lion King. I just watched The Lion King last night because I was trying out my new 3D glasses. See that? All right. And um, I downloaded it, watched it, 3D. 3D is amazing on that movie. A funny thing, there was a... When the movie, uh, when the song Akuna Matara was starting to play, in my head, I'm, all, I'm thinking, you know how it was released on theaters a few months ago? On 3D? And I was thinking, man, all these fucking idiots on the theater were probably singing this stupid song like fucking morons. And then the person next to me started singing. So I just thought that was funny. But this movie is awesome. It's a movie about... I'm not going to explain to you what the fuck the movie's about. You all know what it's about. This little, little lion, little cute fucking li lion. Here you go, come here, come here, come here, come here, come here, come here. See, a little cute fucking lion like this one. That uh, gets tricked into leaving his kingdom while his father dies. And then later it's a story about redemption. And... He takes back the night <laughs> and the music in that movie is just unforgettable. I bet you remember the lyrics to it. Like almost every single song. Awesome. It's funny. The best thing is if you're older like me, which is still young and sexy, uh, you'll remember watching this when you were a little kid. Eight, seven years old, somewhere around there, ten. And especially if you're like me, that at that time I didn't speak English that well, which today I understand English, I just have a really bad voice. Um, you'll be able to catch more jokes from it. You know, all the jokes that you missed before, you'll catch them right now. It's fucking funny, okay? Watch it. Watch the fucking Lion King again. Just go, go rent it. Go. Fucking red box it, okay? Uh, what other movie? Uh, uh, oh, that stupid fucking movie, Drive. You know that? Look it up. Look it up, Drive. It's this guy. I don't. I forget the name of his, the actor who drives people. It's kind of like the transporter, but crappy. See, the transporter had a premise. Badass guy doing badass stuff. In the in the dr drive, or is it driven? No, oh, I think it's drive. The first ten minutes of it, fucking awesome. And this guy driving, telling the the people that hire him for ten minutes or some shit like that. I'm all yours. I'll do whatever it needs to get done. And the premise to it, in the first ten minutes, you're hooked. It's a fucking awesome movie. And then from there on. It turns into this bullshit that everybody wants to give it accolades to that is one of the best movies because he shows no emotion except through visual where you see him twitch or do shit like that. And uh, he gets in love, falls in love with this woman that has a kid with the kid's father. It's uh, in jail and then he comes out and he beats the girl and stuff like that. And the movie just sucks. Boring. I mean, it's, watch it. It's like the girl. Here's the thing: the girl doesn't want the psychopath husband that she had in jail. She wants a better life. So somehow, even though everyone says the main character is this great guy, you look at it. He's a fucking bipolar maniac. He kicks the face in of some guy in the elevator. And then he goes on a rampage to kill everybody. 
for no apparent reason. Stupid, crazy ass movie. I mean, watch it with the expecting it to suck. I know it was one of those artsy movies that everyone says they're uh, revolutionary and all this crap and shit and yeah I usually get those movies this one just fucking sucked that's drive uh the dark knight oh man the dark knight it's probably the best movie ever made for me i mean you got all these conflicts of a guy trying to be a hero but uh he can't be the hero but then everyone knows, like the Joker, he knows that he can't kill. That's what they mean. What we all know what your lines are, or some shit like that at the beginning, where he doesn't kill. That's why he stops the good guy, the the guys playing um, who dress themselves as Batman at the beginning. He stops them, and he they say, you know, they say things like, "What makes you?" Uh, I don't know what makes you be able to do this and not us and he says something like uh, I don't wear hockey gear or some shit like that but in reality what he meant is he doesn't kill because those good guys good guys were out to kill the bad guys and Batman does not kill that's when the Joker says when he crashes towards the end of the movie and uh, Batman is going to him at him on the bike and the Joker's like uh, I want you to hit me. I want you to hit me. That's because the Joker is trying to prove that everyone is evil like him. That deep inside, everyone's bad, even Batman. And that's why he's pissed off that Batman didn't hit him. Because he proved that Batman has morals, real morals. He's pissed that at the end, spoiler alert, that uh, the two boats that have, this boat has a trigger. To blow up this boat and this boat has a trigger to blow up this boat and at midnight if none each other don't blow each other up they're gonna blow both blow up and then the thing is one boat's full of convicts and one boat is full of rich people I guess or just regular people and then you see in that scene where the convicts they all know in their eyes they're gonna die because they're convicts they think to themselves we're gonna die we're the bad guys here of course it can have no pity for us and the Joker's up there laughing because he knows that something's gonna happen that either the convicts are gonna prove that they're bad people and blow the good people up or the good people are gonna prove that they're bad people for blowing the convicts up and that struggle between good and evil is so fucking great and you see that uh, that black guy that comes out in a bunch of movies that he says uh, he the, well, the police guy has a trigger on his hand but he can't commit himself to blowing the good people up, the rich people. And then the comic says, here, I'll do it for you. Just say I'll beat you up or some shit like that. And then he grabs it. And then he throws it out the window. And then you see in the background, all the comic's faces turn into sadness. Because in their head, that's what they believe. Okay, that means I'm dead because the good people are going to blow me up. The struggle, that's, oh my god, all the challenges in that movie fucking awesome I can't wait for The Dark Knight Rises it's probably gonna be one of the best movies ever made and oh my god I think I just had an orgasm about it here hold on uh, yes I'm borderline alcoholic see this whiskey from Royal XR now it's the first, what you would call, expensive bottle that I've ever bought. And I'm going to go, I'm going to sidetrack from the videos, movies, to talk about this for a little bit. Because we all, we all tasted uh, vodka, $20 vodka, $40 vodka, or whiskey, or whatever, hard, hard liquor. And we all go to, what, 60 bucks, and after that we start thinking, oh, that's way too fucking much, because they all burn. You know, you used to take shots and you get drunk with it. Well, this is Crown Royal X XR. I looked for it for a long time. Could not find it. Finally found, found it. I paid about a little over 200 bucks for a bottle. I seen it on a special for 100 some rare places. I can't tell you people. 
I know a lot of people think 200 bucks for a bottle is crazy and it's stupid. And, and maybe it is. I mean, we all have different financial uh, responsibilities. But if you like drinking, you like alcohol, you have to buy a bottle of Crown Royal XR. Look at this. I can't take shots. I'm a pussy when it comes to it. I like beer. And uh, I drink shots when I'm fucking drunk. And maybe I take some, but they all burn. They... This thing is so fucking sm I mean, oh my god, it smells so good, it smells like candy, and then you drink it, and then you can keep it on your mouth, it doesn't burn, it's sweet, not sweet as in orange juice or anything, but by liquor standard, I mean, it does not burn going down. You can. I drink. I sip it little by little. Like it's strong. I mean, just much. This little much with beer will get you fucked up. But it's not. It doesn't burn going down. It. Oh my! It tastes so fucking good, people. Try it. I mean, really, just as a holiday, as your birthday. Anything, any excuse you can get to justify to your significant other or to yourself that spending 200 bucks on a bottle is worth it, do all of that. And you will, I promise you, you will never want to go back to that Bucanas, uh, regular Crown Royal, uh, all that crap that burns and has no taste to it. You're never going to go back to it. Because this, this right here, so, so good. Mmm. Mmm. Ah, see, I was just swirling, moving around in my mouth and taste the color. I mean, I'm not kind of sore. I'm not going to tell you I taste the, the oaky, nutty taste of this prestigious liqueur that just accentuates your palate fuck that i just know it tastes good okay tastes good goes down smooth it's like like milk try it people please try it what else what else can i fit in this fucking video that's probably not gonna fit on facebook on youtube anymore nothing much that's it peace out